Hello, and thank you for stopping by the Telco Depot channel. We're here to uh, explain the differences in delivery of dial tone to your new phone system. The phone company may elect to deliver modular jacks, and each modular jack can accommodate either one or two lines. If they put a, a single dial tone on it, usually the wires that will carry the dial tone will be the green and the red wires. If they decide to deliver two dial tone, two separate numbers, they will deliver the green and the red as one number, and then they'll deliver the second line between the black and the yellow. Basically, if you ended up with a situation where both dial tone come in on a single jack, you will need to separate these. And the only way to separate these two uh, dial tones is to use an external device. The external device should be purchased either at telcodepot.com or at Home Depot, Radio Shack, and some other uh, local stores that may carry it, maybe even a hardware store that you may have there. But anyway, the purpose of this jack is to take a single mounting cord, this cord, let's say, that uh, can deliver two dial tones on it, if it came from that jack, and to break it up to line one and line two. You can continue to another jack with both dial tones. So you need to make sure that you're getting what we call a splitter, not a coupler, not something that bridges across dial tone. Because if you end up with a coupler, you're going to be bridging the two lines on your system between one position to the next. So when you take dial tone, suddenly you're dialing out on two separate lines. And that is highly unrecommended, to say the least. You want to separate the lines, and this is what you need to do. If you're not sure, you can obviously test the line. But I'll show you how you know if you have a coupler or if you have a splitter. When you do have dial tone coming in, it will be delivered on the jack. And if you decide to use this device to break it up, you can plug it in at a remote location and wherever you are and, and expect it to bring you both dial tone. Now, the way to know if the dial tone is bridged or not is to actually short circuit the line. If you short circuit the line, you will get a reading here. This is just a very plain $7 uh, continuity meter, which right now shows one, meaning it's an open line. Nothing is bridged. You can see this is connected to the uh, dial tone on the first pair. On the first pair, it comes to a coupler, something that bridges across up to five. If using with an X-Blue system, you must block one of these ports, you cannot use it, and you can bridge up to four lines. So whatever we connect here will end up coming to this jack. And what we see here is the wire that comes in from the meter, the red and the black, if I shorten them out on the red and the black of this jack, this will go to zero. So let me shorten them out. And now we're going to basically as close as possible. There's some resistance in the line, but it goes to zero. If I go to the second line, it's still nothing, meaning it's not giving a short. However, if I go in and decide to bridge it to one more out of this, no matter which jack on my coupler, that I'm using. Right now I have multiple. I can continue to add a few more. If I'll bridge the first pair across here, I got my short on this. If I bridge the first pair on this, it's the same thing. This basically bridged them across. But when I go to the second line, it's an open circuit. Second line, then open circuit. The only way I can get the circuit to show any shortage is to move the pins to my second line position, the uh, yellow black, and then I can go and shorten the pairs. There's a short, the pair, and there's a short. 
So what are we showing here? We're showing that if you had a delivery on line one and you took it from the dial tone and directly put it into the coupler, line two is not going to be coming across the right way because this one couples everything together. So if you decided to do it, it's good for the station side, this coupler. But in order to separate the dial tone only, you should use one of these. You should use one of these. It will make the job easy for you. Plug it into the phone company's jack. And out of it, connect your two lines. This is line one. And this is line two. And right now, I'll connect it in a second for the testing purposes. You're going to see that I have connections to line one and line two. All I need to do is show you that these are not bridged. I will unplug them from here. Plug one of them to line one, the second one to line two, and you will see for yourselves that this fell out. If I want to shorten the lead, I'm connected to line one on this. Again, sorry, line two. So wherever line two comes out, this mounting cord is going to be getting the dial tone on the right pair, on the first pair that it's expected to. So this is line two for me. And if I'll move to here, I will see that it's not bridged. Not at all. It's totally separate. Now, if I want to test this one, which should be line one, let me connect it here. I'm sorry, these clips, the alligator clips fall right off. Forgive me. But again, if I look at it right now, I'm connected to line one, the plug that connects to line one. I should see a short from here. And sure enough, I do. So let me sum, sum it up. Basically, if you're dealing with dial tone and you have to split the dial tone to your system, you have to use a splitter. You go to Radio Shack, some of them don't really know what it is. Please verify yourself with a, a simple ohm meter that is very inexpensive. If you want to buy a real device, you can buy a toner, a tone generator, which will do it for you without all these wires. I mean, it's very easy. When you plug in, if you decide to use the tone, uh, I can plug in right now my toner instead of this. I'm going to unplug my meter. <coughs> and at this point, use my alligator clips for line one, sorry again, <laughs> this is a joke, but okay, and then all I have to do, here is my pair. You can hear it, that it's line one. It may bleed here, but it's not as loud. If I move it to the second pair, loud here and faint over here. So regardless of your testing method, if you have any questions, feel free to call us at Telco Depot at 1-800-390-1200 and we'll be happy to help you make the proper connections to your system. Thank you for stopping by the Telco Depot channel.